Hi. Um, I just sent out a message to other people to come join the remixing session. Um, I'm Josh Halpern. Uh, I've been working with Libertex now for a while. And I'm going to take you on some examples of uh, how to use the remixer. It's kind of a split screen here. I hope it won't be too confusing. Uh, okay. So the things we're not going to talk about today are how to build an OER textbook. And our colleagues at Sacramento City College have put together a Canvas course on how to do that and a YouTube video. Well, it's a video showing you how to go about it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do remixing activities. We're going to log in to a sandbox. We're going to construct a simple remixing map for a couple of chapters. Uh, we're going to remix that map, move the remix to a personal sandbox, examine it, change it, and examine it again. So the first thing we want to do is we want to sign into an account. Now, you can do that by going to libertex.org and then go to the library that's most appropriate to you. I'll pick the humanities library. Or you could just go to the library directly. Now, if you know what your user ID and your password is, you can sign in. If you don't know what your password is, you could reset it. But we set up a dummy account called TestBox where everybody can sign in and they can use this password. And you would then essentially have control of the remixer for that sandbox. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go to TestBox. There's the sign in, and I'm going to sign in. Okay. At this point, you can see the courses and the bookshelves. And the bookshelves are organized by area. And there are books in each sub areas and so forth. Uh, there are books in each of them. But I want to go to my sandbox. And in the sandbox now, you see an area where there's training and tutorials and references and other things that are available to you, a full construction guide and other things. We set up a special box that you should see in your sandbox or the test box sandbox. And we have uh, a couple of links here. Uh, there's a problem. Okay. We'll get back to them in a minute. Um, I have to go do something, which seems not to have worked very well. Excuse me a minute. Oh, very good. Thank you, Delmar. All right, well, okay. So now what you want to do uh, is if you look over here at the remixing map, this is in uh, Google Sheets. You can see what I've done is I've uh, taken, I'm going to build a book. The first chapter is going to have all the sections in the geo library, from the bookshelves, from this book. Uh, there's the chapter I want in all sections. There's the second chapter in my new book. It's going to be in the same place. The properties of water is going to be the second chapter. 
That's chapter four in this book, but I want it to be chapter two, all sections. And then I want to bring in some, a third section from the chemistry library. Uh, and there's the chapter. And there are the three sections that I'm going to bring in. So you can use a remixing map like this. And if you want to find your, uh, find the, uh, the PowerPoint presentation I'm showing you here, it's over here. Okay. Okay, there's a remixing map. So what we want to do is we want to get started. And there's actually a video that tells you how to get started. I just showed you with the login. So if I go to the geosciences library here, test box, that's go free uh, seven and exclamation mark, and I can sign in. And now I can go to the sandbox here. There's the sandbox. So now I want to do some remixing. Uh, if you look at the um, PowerPoint, uh, kind of goes through step by step, but rather than going through on the presentation, I'm going to go to the remixer. Okay. Now the important thing to do is to give your, your give your uh, remix a name. And because many people will be using the test box, put your name here. That way you can tell which is yours. We're going to enable auto numbering. Okay. Now, I want to go on the bookshelves to the oceanography area. I'm going to use Tessa Hill's book, and I'm going to grab chapter one. And I'm going to put it in here. It's a little bit touchy. You want it to be over to the right. Uh, yeah, to the left, sorry. So I've now moved this into the sandbox. And there are the four sections. I could take a section out if I wanted. And I want number four. There's that. If I wanted to add something of my own, I could put it into one of these untitled chapters. Uh, let me, I'll leave one there. And now what I wanna do is I wanna go to the chemistry library. I'm gonna get something from chemistry, from the bookshelves. I'm going to go to physical and theoretical chemistry and I wanted something from Macquarie and Simons. I have a copy of my mixing map here. I'm not doing this offhand. Uh, I want, let's find it, solutions one. And I'm gonna, what I, the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna take this whole thing, I'm gonna bring it over here, and I only want a few of the pages. And I don't, don't want the examples. Now notice, this is chapter 24, but here it shows as chapter two. I seem to have messed this up a bit. Okay. So this is section 3.1, not 24, 4.7. This is section 3.2, not 24.8. It's automatically renumbered. Okay, uh, let me pull up the chat for a second here. Okay. I think we caught everything so far. Okay. Um, so the next thing is I could actually Save this, save this book to the server, and then I can set it up so that it's in my, in my test box. So I'm going to do that now. 
if something's wrong, I'll get a nasty gram and I'll have to go back and revise it. But let me save it to the server. This will take a few seconds now. If you save an entire book like this, if you do an entire book, go out and have a cup of tea, cup of coffee, whatever you want. It takes a while. It doesn't happen instantaneously. That's why we limited this activity to three chapters. So it's taking about half a minute. Okay. At this point, I want to take a look at my text. Now, I, if it was completely ready and finished and I was trusting I could do this, but even in that case, you want to look at it before you contact us to move your book to a campus hub. Okay. There's the book. I just want to show you where it is. The name is Josh Halpern. Okay. Let me go back and look at the book. Now, let me look at a chapter. And I want to look at a section. And this looks like an ordinary OER online book. But I haven't really copied it. What I've done is I've copied the links. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit it. And you see what's there is just a link. Not the book. Well, I want to change something. And we'll get into this more in uh, when we actually go and uh, do the simple editing. But you see this little fork over here? Or sometimes it's here. If I fork it, I'm actually forcing a HTML copy. And it'll ask me, do I want to force this? Yes, I want to force it. And it says it's been forced. Well, I'm not a very trusting person. So I'm going to hit edit. And there it is. But notice that the text is real text. I could change it. I could go Now I'm changing my text here. I'm not changing the underlying text from the bookshelf. And I could make this be, for example, a heading. Okay. If I save it now, what I'll see in my book is I'll see the change that I made. So the question is, what if Professor Hill comes and changes her copy. How will I know about it? Well, I can go to her book. I took this chapter here. You see the star? Or let me go back. You see the star here. If I click on the star, I will receive email notifications whenever something in this book changes. So I will know that I should go and check whether this has been changed at all. OK. Anybody uh, have any questions at this point? This is the first. This is, this is remixing a book for yourself. The advantage of doing it this way, rather than constructing the book from scratch, is a lot of this, the uh, the scut work is done for you. You you were going to use this chapter anyhow, so it comes in very quickly. Now, let's go back here and okay. 
what we want to do now is we want to do a re-remix and add a blank page somewhere and resave the remix. Okay? So again, what we can do is we can hit the remixer. We did a new remix, but we want to edit a remix. At this point, I need to go find my book. There it is. I've selected it and I put it there. Now, let's say I decided that Light in the Oceans wasn't particularly interesting. I can delete that page. Oh, let me show you one other thing that's very nice. This is a link to this page. I can, uh, sorry, it's a link to that chapter. This is a link to the page. So I can check that, yes, this is the page that I wanted. Okay. Notice that the page that I deleted, this has renumbered. Okay. So I'm going to save this to the server. Only a couple of things were changed, so they were the only things that were uh, worked on. And you can see that's all right. I want to show you one other thing about the remixer. Let's go here. This is kind of math heavy. This is why I want to show you. Oh, something that I really like that's been added new. Notice how this is all tight here. And I'm an old guy. My glasses aren't so good. So I can make the type I can make the type bigger. I can provide some margins. Really helps with readability. Notice that this was originally 24, what was it, 24.7? But notice how the equations have been renumbered here. Equations renumbered. Okay. So we have a uh, default numbering scheme, chapter, section, period in between, semicolon. When you do this, you can change a number of things. Uh, you can set uh, okay. 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 You can add tags, and that will help. That will build. Uh, table of contents and um, the table of contents and the index. We have an automatic index is generated. Notice where these tags are here. Uh, I'm going to go back here to the book. The front matter has a title page and a table of contents, which are rebuilt for you. The back page has an index. The index depends on certain headings. You have to have tags. If you 
provide the tags in your book, they will reflect in the index. If the tags were provided in the book that you remixed from, then they will also show up in the index. Uh, this is, perhaps we'll get to it in the editing. If I add a tag, surface temperature here, okay. Then that will get built into the um, in, into the it, sorry not it will get built into the table of uh, into the index. Uh, Henry, will that happen automatically, or do I have to rebuild the book? Um, I think the index is automatic, and the glossary is the one that um, is manual in the table of contents. Requires the. Okay, let's take time. a look, because that's I think something of interest. Okay. Yeah. As you add the tags, they get built into the uh, index. Also, um, some important things here. You can print the page. This will all go in the nest section. And of course, the all important donate button. Uh, we, once you've built your book completely, you, you tell us, there's, there's a form to submit or you can send email, uh, and the book can be compiled, that is, it will be removed from your sandbox and moved into a campus shell. Okay. And when, when that happens, then that shows up – this is fairly new. That shows up as a book in the um, on the book in the, in the store in the bookstore. Um, just want to show you one thing here. This came up before. If you want to buy a printed copy of this, uh, it's cost going to cost ten dollars twenty four cents. It costs as much to mail practically as it does to print it. Uh, and you can print it as paperback. Hardcovers cost more. Color costs more. So I think with that, I'm done with what I want to say. Uh, I think we're almost ready to move into the breakout rooms unless there are some uh, questions at this point. Um, is it okay if I give a quick summary overview of the remixer? I think yeah. you, yeah. And then in the chat, um, you guys might need to help people trying to. Um, okay, let me uh, let me stop my sharing. Okay, you want to take a yeah. take time? So just as a really quick overview summary type thing is, um, so just a reminder of like why do you care about the remixer or like what are the use cases for it. So imagine as the remixer as your, it's the entry point for if you want to do anything with any LibreTeX content, OER content. So like one use case is imagine you're um, a new professor and you just want a book that works. What you can do is you can find an existing book that works. So like Tro and you can um, import in completely and you know, just basically you're making your own copy to work with that actually should have gone there. So you're like, hey, I only want, um, yeah, I only want the Tro book. I don't, um, you know, you're like, I don't need to customize it. This is like the first step. And then you can do a quarter with that. 
but the power of the rim mixer is it gives you the flexibility to um, to experiment. So like if as time goes on or like you were like, I want to reorganize this based on how it went or how you teach your class, the rim mixer gives you an interface to keep coming back and make revisions to your structure, swap things, try different things. And then the saving to the sandbox means that you can try different versions of your book or um, yeah, you can try different things. So the workflow is you find content that you find interesting, either um, just like whole books, like I want to try this out. Or if you have more time, like over a summer, you can find snippets, chapters um, from books that you find interesting and assemble it into the remixer. And then the remixer allows you to keep revising your book, shuffling things around um, to, your, to your heart's content. It really makes it a lot easier. So regardless of how much time you have or your skill level, the Remixer lets you easily create a book to start with and then gets you into the ecosystem. So I think that covers the motivation of the Remixer is your entry point and you can edit your remix as much as you want, especially when it's in your sandbox, then you get it published to your course. And once it's in your course, there's a lot of features, as Josh said, so you can have print books if you want. Um, it's your students can access it online. They can download PDFs. Um, so the work, yes, yeah, so that's the workflow of you make your remix in your sandbox. You mess with it as much as you want. Maybe you make multiple things to try. It gets moved to the course shells once you're ready. And then we go through in case there's any things we can help you with before it gets public. And then your students use it live. And then you're, you're still free to remix it when it's in the courses. So as time goes on, if new knowledge comes in or you want to reorganize your course, you still have the freedom either through the remixer or through regular editing um, to modify your book. And when it's published, your book has lots of features and your, of course your students can access it online in the course shells. So I think that's a good overview of what this can do. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm just doing setting up the breakout rooms. It'd take me a few more minutes, so if there are general questions, ask now is a good time to ask them. Nobody? Uh, there's some in the chat. Hi, it's Heather. I, I have a question. I have a question. Yeah. Um, once we have uh, somebody's um, chapter, book, um, article selected, and we've moved it to our own um, campus area, um, if that book has changed, you said that we can have it so we get automatic notifications if there's a change made. Now, is that made automatically to our copy of it, or do we get to pick and choose which changes we will accept and if we accept the change will it overwrite anything that we've already changed so um currently it's um it's an on or off type thing so by default when you do the dragging from the left to the right side um it's making like a a mirrored copy of it so all the changes to the original source um, are updated in your book so that that makes sense for if you're like a new professor or you just want the book wholesale and you aren't um, planning on making edits to it, that makes sense because you want the content to keep getting updated with fixes. It's once you, um, and this will also be in the next part, once you start editing a page, um, then the content is, uh, the link is broken so that they're really, um, we call it forking, so it's two separate copies, they're independent of each other. And while you can get notifications of stuff changes, at that point, since you've edited the page, you have to manually go in and compare like if you want the change and stuff, because it's hard to know automatically if like if they add some stuff, but you like already added it, like which co which copies better. Um, so that's that's a manual process. But if you leave most of your content linked, or at least the large majority that is okay or acceptable, then that's not work you have to deal with. Uh, does that answer your question? Okay, it's nice to have the choice. Yeah, it really does. It, it's nice to have the choice and knowing how you have to deal with it by which choice you choose, you, which choice you follow. Yeah. 
and it's a, it's a per page basis. So if it's just one <clears throat> page that's wrong, that's um, something you can break off. Or if you add new content, um, that's another thing. It's per page, so you can have most of the pages linked and then fork or unlink the select pages that you just don't agree with what the bookstore, bookshelves has. Great, thank you. Okay. Okay, uh, I've divided us up into, um, well, the, I guess we're being C.S. Lewis here into STEM and so STEM and uh, social sciences and humanities. Uh, uh, I've kind of arbitrarily assigned uh, mentors to both areas and I'm going to open up the rooms now. Uh, just let me briefly share the screen with you again. Um, hopefully what you're going to do is sign into you, to an account, use user ID, test box, password, go free in any library, look on the bookshelves for a few chapters to remix, go to the remixer, and remix your book, and then re-remix it. Remember that if you're using TestBox, you should use your name as the name of the book that you're remixing. Uh, I'm going to come out of this now. And OK, so let's stop share. Um, Everybody okay? Shall we go? Yeah, and in your breakout rooms, feel free to ask questions to the meeting hosts. That's what this, right. uh, this time's meant for. It's, it's so it's a smaller session, so you can ask your questions. Okay. So, and Josh, you have me moving to social sciences. I presume you didn't want that? No, that's okay. You, can, you want me to move you? I can move you. No, no, I thought you wanted me in chemistry. Well, we have lots of people there. Okay, that's fine. Hold on one second here. Okay. Um, so it's you and Brent in there, and um, Larry and Henry are in the uh, STEM area. Okay.